If you've ever stared at your notes for hours and still felt like nothing was sticking, then this video is for you. I've been testing one of my favorite study tools in RemNote with their AI capabilities to just expedite how I learn as a cardiology fellow, and honestly, I wish this existed back when I was in med school. And so today's episode, I'm gonna show you exactly all the ways that I use it and why every medical student should definitely consider getting RemNote plus AI tools a shot. Now, if you're anything like me, medical school is overwhelming in itself, and then combining the lectures, the board exams, and all of the things that you're trying to learn for long-term retention to just be a good doctor is just a lot on your plate. And then when you combine the burden of just all of that looming over your shoulders, plus the concept of just studying as a traditional medical student just takes forever. Even if you use flashcards like I used in medical school, it still takes forever to make them. And the problem with most of these traditional tools is that they are really just built to help you memorize what you think is important in the moment and not help you think and interact for future long-term retention, which is really the goal of any medical journey. And so currently as a cardiology fellow, and if I was in your shoes early in the medical journey, that I know that I needed a tool that was not just smart, but it helped me become smarter. It allowed me not to just kind of consolidate my notes, but allowed me to interact with them and learn from them in more strategic and creative ways. And that's exactly how RemNote plus AI capabilities allows you to just make learning so effortless and also allows you to just really make sure that you're mastering topics and not just memorizing and cramming things before the test. Now really quickly, if you're not familiar with RemNote, I've made a few videos on the channel of exactly how to break it down. And this is a full breakdown in case you're interested. It's already gotten really good reviews and I'll link it down below in case you're interested. And also while you're watching this, if you're like, huh, I kinda wanna give this tool a try, I'll link down below a nice friendly link that our friends at RemNote have given us to essentially give you one free month of all of their pro features, including some of the AI tools that we'll talk about in this episode. But on a very basic level, RemNote is a beautiful combination of a very clean note-taking organization tool with a flashcard tool similar to Anki and just merging it together. So that way you can see all your notes in one place. You can quiz yourself with flashcards and now you can use their beautiful AI tools to just help you take your learning resource like a lecture and turn them into things like flashcards or notes that you can quickly learn from. Now here are the AI features I'm gonna break down in this episode. And if you're interested, I'll bookmark them down below so you can just go to the part of the video that you're most interested in. But I recommend checking out all of them to see how it can work in your study flow. First and foremost, I'm gonna show you how you can use the multiple different AI tools within RemNode to help you create flashcards super fast and are very effective. Next, we'll talk about how you can use their AI tutor mode to explain a med school level topic as if you're a 12 year old, which is super effective going into a test and working on your weaknesses. And then for sure, we have to hit on how AI can help you create a very smart space repetition plan before your quizzes and test. And then one of my favorites is the ability to upload a PDF or a long article or a lecture and using the AI integration to do anything such as making flashcards, image occlusion, flashcards, as well as helping to summarize everything that is in a big document so that you can quickly get to the gist of the information. Now we have a lot to cover, so we're just gonna dive straight in and I'm just gonna essentially show you how I created this page right here, which is essentially a lecture that I had back in residency about the basics of Echo. Now everything that you see on the screen and all of this like outlines was created by AI. I have not done any typing and so I'm gonna kind of create a very traditional flow of how you can do this and we're just gonna kind of start from scratch. So I have my RemNote designed as like almost like a little mini notebook of personalization, especially for fellowship. I've shown how to do this in a separate video that I'll link down below, but I have like my to-dos and my lectures. And so let's imagine that we are going to recreate this lecture here. And so I'm gonna essentially go into my reading and we can call this lecture one, echo. Imagine you're on your Monday, your first day of cardiology, welcome. And now we are going to essentially use the power of AI and I'm gonna upload a PowerPoint. And the cool part is if you really wanted to like upload like a, a YouTube video or something else you got from online, you could do that too. So now this PDF is all loaded. And the nice thing is, is that if I was going into a lecture, and all I wanted to do was RemNote is like just have this lecture outside and take notes, you could do so. Um, and I think that's a nice effective part before I used to like make notes in my PDFs. But now I can have like a very nice clean outline and be able to refer things. RemNote also gives you the power of kind of copying things and adding them, but we're gonna just use AI to create this. And you kind of already got a glimpse of how I could highlight something and it can easily start making flashcards just from what I highlighted, which is like, mind blowing, which I had, had this like eight years ago. But we are gonna actually use AI to create literally flashcards for all of these 75 
slides. Now some of these are pictures and so it's going to be a little bit of kind of come back and make sure what AI can do for you. The main thing to remember about any AI tool, including RemNote, is that it will get better with time and so you want to make sure that you trust but verify. And as the tool gets better, then you will verify different things. But we're going to just imagine that we want to use the power of AI to create a nice flow of this lecture without ever having to do anything. And so if I click this little button right here, it says create AI cards. I'm going to click on it. Now you have the choice and RemNote will tell you specifically to create cards from specific passages so that way you're not wasting your AI credits, right? AI tools require server and some processing to be able to get you the output that you want. And so you don't want to just waste, you know, all of your credits and they do give you a very gracious amount with their AI plans. But if you really do want the most effective flashcards, you do want to be kind of thoughtful. But for the purpose of this, I just want to show you how effective their tool is when I'm not thoughtful. And so I'm going to say entire document, but I recommend to go into each page and saying like, do I even want a flashcard from this slide? Especially if it's like not useful. If it's somebody's like picture of their cat and they just added it to lecture, it's probably not like useful to make the AI tool go through it, although it probably will ignore it anyways. So I'm going to say entire document. And the nice thing is, is that it's kind of already told me how many credits it's going to be using of my monthly limit on the plans. And again, if you are interested in trying out their pro plan, I'll link that down below. There's also a pro plus AI plan that gives you even more AI capabilities and some of the features will break down. But this is the nice part about their AI tool is that I can say what kind of cards that I want. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of closed cards, but some of you guys may be. And so you can click on it and say, I want some closed cards. So just for you guys, I will. You can say how many cards you want. We're going to say all, of course, if you want it in a different language, it's kind of cool. If you want definitions, um, but essentially you can pick what you want. If you want this to be in a multiple choice quiz, that'd be a cool thing to test out. Let's say you want it to kind of come back and focus on something. Maybe this is the second time around I'm using the AI tool and I wanted it to focus on just like physics of echo because that's important and those questions don't really make sense to me. Then I can have it focus on those things. But for now, we're just going to say, just make a big flashcard pile for me from this lecture. I'm gonna step away, go make my coffee, go like make my lunch after a long medical school day, and boom, AI is doing its thing. The nice thing is that it's clean and it's transferable. A lot of other AI tools will give it to you in their own platform, but then like it's not an easy app or something that you want to actually use, but this is like a very beautiful lecture. And frankly, it's probably the flashcards that I would have made, if not better. Now AI finished and that was probably less than like 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. And it gave me, you know, a ton of cards. And the nice thing is, is that before I kind of confirm something, you want to make sure like, is this a card you would make? And for the most part, if I'm just like scrolling through these, these all seem legit. And maybe during my review, I realize something isn't as high yield as I want them to be, or it's like too simple, then I can just delete the card later. But we can just click save. And again, the beauty of RemNote is that it just kind of combines everything to be able to be fit into your learning. And so currently it's adding citations. So my flashcards actually link to the part in the lecture they're related to, right? Which never happened with Anki. If I made flashcards with Anki, I would have to find where that information came from, from the syllabi, and then like like try to remember it or learn a little bit better. Here, if I feel like a flashcard is like almost not fully complete of the information, I can then quickly just click on it and be able to kind of take myself back to that part of the lecture, which is amazing. But this is my whole flashcard deck that essentially got created. And so if we want to just take a look, I can close this real quick. And if I wanted to do my flashcards, I could essentially do all of them. 127 flashcards that I've made. Some are multi-choice, which means that there are two answers. And so what are the main uses of a Doppler? And these are kind of different categories and click forgot. The nice thing is, is the four different types of echoes. I can click on the answer choices that I don't really feel comfortable with. So that way next time in the future, those are the ones that's going to try to ask me first. But that was very quick, very effective. And again, these are kind of flashcards that I would make. And one of my favorite things about RemNote in general is that it's just like very clean and I can read this as an outline, not necessarily have to do flashcards with it. Now we're gonna keep taking this to another level just so you can see how powerful this tool is. Now let's imagine that I am learning something about continuous wave Doppler. Now I'm not really sure my first time what that means. You can highlight this in your notes and have AI make even more flashcards from you and suggestions. And so you can then have flashcards that are just built for continuous wave Doppler. And again, some of these are not necessarily cards that you necessarily need, but if you want more insight for something, let's say your professor talked a lot about continuous wave Doppler in their lecture, but not so much on the actual slide, which happens all the time. Now you can make sure that you highlight those as you're listening to your lectures and make sure that now you add even more flashcards for that topic. And this is the beauty of the structure that I've created AI generated flashcards. I can now go into lecture and if the professor is more or less saying what the flashcard says, I'm good. 
But if I really wanted to add extra notes, I could do so by just kind of contributing and adding into the outline method. And I could write continuous wave is important. And if I could spell that even be even better. But this is a nice way where you can now go ahead and, and go ahead and highlight stuff and annotate your notes. And so again, you can have a beautiful outline structure within your flashcards. I can, these are all toggle based. And so I can close these. And there's shortcuts where you can essentially close all of them if you just wanted to see your bread and butter. But now you can essentially go home, go ahead and do you um, flashcards through the entire lecture. Now we're going to take this an even further level of how you can use AI to make flashcards really quickly. Let's say I wanted to make some image occlusions of this kind of card. And as you saw, Remno didn't necessarily make me any images. Because I know I want this, I can go ahead and just say make image occlusion flashcard after highlighting this. And I could easily just click all the boxes myself, but I'm lazy. So I'm gonna click the AI tool and just see what it comes up with. And just to keep the image simple, I just kind of zoomed in, but as you can see, AI quickly just kind of covered up all these boxes and I can choose to add these as flashcards or not. And just to keep the example simple, I just kind of zoomed in, but as you can see, AI quickly generated five flashcards and I can kind of just go through them to make sure that I'm happy with all of them and boom, let's go ahead and just be done with it. So, so far we've had AI create our flashcards. We've had AI create image occlusion for us. And again, you can go through lectures, you can copy these, you can have it explain it to you. So I'm gonna say explain this to me as if like I was a dummy. And it basically tells me what the modified Bernoulli equation is, which is very high yield in cardiology. And I can have it explained it even further by clicking on this AI tutor tool, which you can park on your sidebar of your desktop. And so you can essentially have a talk as if this was like a chat GPT situation. And so if you are getting asked a question and you want even more information about something specific, or you want their explanation to be turned into a flashcard, beautiful. You can just kind of keep building on your learning. This is very effective when you are doing your flashcards and you're like, huh, like I get the flashcard, but this doesn't make sense. This is usually where Anki would park itself and saying, cool, well, good luck. You're on your own, figure it out. But nice thing about Remnode, it can say, okay, if you don't understand something, here's a way that you can get more information on this. If you would like us to explain it, if you want more flashcards to help make this stick, you can do so, which is like such a powerful thing in learning, super underrated. But with AI, I think it's going to be the norm and Remnode is definitely leading that part in the learning game. And then one of my last favorite features is using the summary tool. So for example, if I just wanted to get an idea of what this lecture is going to be about, or especially it's more effective, and I'll show you in a second, if you had a big PDF, let's say you're reading a journal article or a big thing of guidelines, often cardiology guidelines are like hundreds of pages. And so it's not super helpful for me to read those like page by page, but maybe I want to go to the part that's most important. And so here it is essentially going to tell me what this lecture has. And so I can look and I can say, oh, it's talking about M mode here. It's talking about Doppler echoes. Oh, here's that equation from two weeks back, I can't remember. Maybe I should go to this page and actually see what the heck they were talking about. Or I may see this other formula that I remember, oh, I need to remember this for the quiz. Let's go ahead and go to that part of the lecture and find it. So again, Remno just makes the ability of taking your lectures really quickly, even before going into actual lecture and learning the information of doing a kind of quote pre-reading. And if you wanted to take it a second level, let's say you've now done everything and you wanted to have AI creates you a quiz because your quiz is coming up and you've ideally memorized all the flashcards, but you want to make sure you understand everything. Then you can wait about 10 seconds and have a quiz ready for you. So here is a multiple choice test of something you likely will have on your cardiology um, quiz about echo physics, which is crazy because I wish I could have this. And if you can't remember it, maybe we'll show you those flashcards. If you need even elder help, then again, you can have AI explain this to you as you're thinking about the question. Again, there's no pressure of getting these wrong, but you want to do as many of these. So if you're in a situation where like, I don't have question bank for this class, or I don't have resources to do practice, that's no longer excuse with Remno. So that was just a very quick demonstration of how I can use a lecture that I would traditionally get in med school. But really quickly, I want to show how I use it as a cardiology fellow and how you can use it pretty much for anything that has like more long-term consequences to it. So maybe I'm trying to learn long-term retention things like guidelines for echocardiography, which I would need to know in cardiology. So here is kind of a presentation that I may have already started. It's a PDF, so I can click here for all the information. And I imagine this is going to be a very long PDF. It's still actually loading. It's 45 pages and it's very, very dense with images 
that I would have to know as an imager. And so again, I can go through these individual things and highlight them and have something get explained to me. So if I can have that, I can say, explain this to me, create a hash flashlight. So I can say, explain these to me, create these flashcards, quiz me on these things, pulmonary vein flow. This is just incredible to have a tool like this, be able to summarize all of this so fast. And again, maybe I wanna just understand what a journal article is gonna talk about, what a review article is gonna talk about, and be able to jump to those parts in their slides or in their presentation or in this case on this big PDF, then I can go and find that and it will then link me to that page. And then I can start reading about those, especially if it's something that I often come back to refer to, which for me, this big document is something that I use commonly when I'm reading ultrasounds. And so if I can't remember something specific, then I would come back to that part of the guidelines and you can create as many flashcards as I want. And these are just a few examples of flashcards that have been created using AI that I could essentially make for this 45 page document and be able to do everything valvular regurgitation wise. Cause, and I could literally do anything for a patient who had some kind of valve repair and answer questions on all the guidelines on how to read echoes, which makes you a very powerful physician, makes me a very powerful cardiologist. And I'm not having to spend all of that time making Anki or hoping somebody has made pre-made cards for this. So guys, I hope you can kind of sense my excitement with this tool. This is definitely something that I wish in medical school, actually I know in medical school, I'm like, man, it would be really nice if something could do this. Didn't know AI existed at that point to be able to do this, but we know now it is quickly integrating itself into all forms of the world, including learning, including in medicine. And to be quite frank, if you don't use AI effectively and smart, you are likely gonna be left behind because learning is to be expected to the limitations of the tools you have. So now that we have AI to allow us to do so and more tools like Remno to be able to make that learning process even simpler, you are gonna be expected to learn more creatively, more comprehensively, and not just be a memorization tool. That's not what being a physician or being in medicine is about anyways. Remno makes that very natural. And hopefully you can see just through those quick examples of how you can use Remno plus AI tools to really minimize the time that you are spending making flashcards and spending more time actually learning the information and quizzing yourself so you're mastering the information. And so this doesn't matter if you're a pre-med studying for things like your MCAT and as a teaser in a future video, I'm gonna break down exactly how Remnote can use their MCAT tool to just combine the two plus high yield resources like Khan Academy and just make the ultimate MCAT machine. So if you want those high scores on your MCAT, make sure that you stay tuned for that future video coming out in the next few weeks. And if I was still in medical school, I would use Remnote both for my obviously my preclinical courses, but also to like co collect all the review slides and review articles and journals that I wanted to stick with for the specialty I ultimately went in through and create the second brain and now using AI to help you kind of retain and remember all of it. And if you're a resident or a fellow like me, Remnote also is very nice to combine things like review articles or lectures that you may be presented, guidelines like the big PowerPoint or presentation I shared about echoes. It's also really nice if you are doing any kind of research where you can add all of the articles that you think are important, upload them, highlight them, annotate them, and then put them under like one big project or whatever manuscript or abstract you're working for and be able to quickly link and cite things back and forth. And so there's clearly so many utilities that Remnote gives you, which is why it's one of my favorite tools. It's why I actually use it as a cardiology fellow. Why I recommend it so much on this channel. And again, if you're interested, our friends in Remnote have been super kind. I've added a link for all of our subscribers and listeners to click that link down below and you'll get a free month of their pro plan to try out all the features, especially a lot of the ones that we talked about in this video. If you're interested in maximizing all the AI capabilities, then they also have an AI pro plan, which I'll link down below. But again, I've used a lot of study tools in my day. I wish this existed back when I was an early med student. I think it would have made my life honestly a lot less stressful and I've done a lot of things to help in that process. This would have been a big step. And so I highly recommend, again, all of you guys, especially if you don't have a study method or tool that just fits quite right, try this out and see if it works for you. Drop your comments down below and so I can understand all the struggles you may be having and maybe I can make another episode in the future answering those specific questions. And if you made it to the end of the episode, all I really ask is you hit that like button because one, helps the channel grow, but two, more importantly, helps me understand what's important to you so I can make more episodes that are actually useful, things that you are interested in watching. Ask your questions down below in the comments. And while you're down there, check out all of the free resources that I've made over the past decade to help you on your medical journey, do it with less stress. And if you're interested, and combining the power of AI and helping study better, check out Remnote. If you're interested in learning all of the ways that I do that, then check out our AI Study Accelerator, which is a program that I'm building from scratch to help combine my study methods plus the power of AI 
to make sure that learning for you in medical school is significantly easier than it was for me, ideally more successful than it was for me. But as always, my friends, thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours. If you enjoyed this episode, check out this full breakdown of how to use Remnant step-by-step, as well as this full breakdown, exactly how I use it as a cardiology fellow and a physician. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.